So, what is a light worker? The simplest way to describe light workers would be as beings who feel an enormous pull towards helping others. Also referred to as crystal babies, indigos, earth angels and star seeds, these spiritual beings volunteer to act as a beacon for the earth and commit to serving humanity. They often feel greater kindness and compassion towards others right from their childhood. Chances are that they've rescued several animals and other living beings in distress from a young age. Lightworkers tend to be sensitive, and hence they feel sadness and anguish for the misery that dwells in the world around them. This is why they tend to choose professions wherein their empathetic nature can be used to assist those in need, like nursing therapy, rehabilitation, healing, caregiving, veterinary services, research and teachings. Lightworkers are intuitive and driven by their internal guidance. They can often ably perceive the emotions and needs of other living beings, which enables them to harness and direct their healing powers towards those who need help. They also believe in carrying out coordinated efforts to dispel or chase away negative consciousness using their positive energies and healing powers. Lightworker is one who brings light and information to Earth. This information may come through conscious, mental knowledge, and or through coded energetic frequencies. One who radiates and resonates with the frequencies of light, often blessing, assisting and protecting the Earth and her inhabitants through the power of channeled light frequencies, kind deeds and actions. Not all light workers realize the nature of their spiritual calling right away. While some star seeds may realize that their purpose on earth is to elevate mankind's collective consciousness, several light workers can only sense a drive to serve and compassion in their own hearts, and that they feel good when supporting others through difficult times. They feel an enormous pull towards helping others. These spiritual beings volunteer to act as a beacon for the Earth and commit to serving humanity. It often takes some intuitive guidance, as well as going through the process of self-realization and discovery to realize that their mission on Earth is to make a positive impact in whichever way they can. Given that they're faced with the same limitations and obstacles as other mortal beings, this manner of spiritual awakening and tuning into their inner light can sometimes take years for a light worker. How do you know if you are a light worker? If you've read about light workers and wondered if you could be one, you can only find the answer through introspection. Light workers are driven by a deep felt desire to serve those in need and are blessed with intuitive powers and inner guidance that enables them to sense energy shifts and emotions like pain and sorrow in others around them. They also feel connected with all living beings and earth, and at the same time feel isolated and distant from others as they tend to look into the world from outside. If you identify with these core traits, and the desire to serve mankind and the world resonates deep within your heart, then perhaps you were intended to be a light worker. Light workers can possess strengths and core abilities in one or more areas of service. Tuning into your could help you understand what your unique gifts are and which kind of light worker you might be. The following types can help one identify where their inner calling lies. There are 12 the different types of light workers, so here we go. The first one is being spiritual guides and healers. Light workers who are driven towards serving living beings and the earth through healing using mental, physical, emotional, 
or spiritual approaches fall under this category. They are often highly perceptive of feelings and emotions in others, and characteristically can alleviate pain and hurt within a few minutes of time spent with people or animals. The second lightworker are psychics and seers. Using their elevated awareness and intuitive powers, lightworkers can develop psychic sights to be able to see beyond the material form and illusion. They can accordingly predict future events and concentrate their efforts to stimulate positive outcomes, with the end goal to promote world peace and harmony. The third type of lightworker are gridworking and gatekeeping. A grid here refers to a unit that connects all awakened hearts and sacred sites on earth using ley lines. Grid workers and gatekeepers are advanced light workers who specialize in clearing work, their main role being opening of interdimensional grid lines to let light and love flow through. Gatekeepers are often government employees, diplomats, or even mediators and yoga instructors, etc., wherein they encourage peace, kindness, positive energy and fairness to all living beings. The fourth light worker are the manifestors. Also known as divine blueprint creators, manifestors are a type of light worker that are expert at channeling their intrinsic energy to attract what they want. Their mission to make the world a better and peaceful place enables them to manifest awakened collective consciousness for humanity. The fifth light worker are guides and messengers. Some light workers possess a unique flair for spreading important messages to the world. They concentrate their efforts in areas where their inner light and magnetic presence can make greatest impact on others by communicating messages of love, peace, spiritual awakening and enlightenment. Motivational speakers, bloggers, artists, teachers, writers, life coaches, etc., who strive to serve humanity through their words, actions or work can be categorized as messengers. The sixth type of light worker are transmuters. Also known as neutralizers, these light workers specialize in dispelling negativity, thus restoring neutrality and balance back into the world. Neutralizers may work in favor of the entire collective consciousness, or even help people release or heal negative karma from their ancestral lines. The seventh type of light worker are dreamers and travelers. These light workers can never accept the status quo and always strive for new solutions and adventure. They learn to push limitations and manifest light during dream work, creating boundless capacity for change along multiple dimensions of the earth. Explorers, inventors, pioneers can be classified as dreamers and travelers. The eighth type of light worker are adventurers and ascension guides. Adventurers are always on the lookout for newer possibilities, driven by belief that better things await if one just looks beyond the obvious. Along with ascension guides, they work towards creating higher interdimensional possibilities and broadening mankind's vision for future. The ninth type of light worker are the protesters. Masters of intention, they channel the energy of the cosmos to manifest realities anew. With heart-centered focus, they envision a harmonious world, weaving together threads of positivity, light, and coexistence, ensuring their creations resonate with the highest good of all. The tenth type of light worker are those who show the path, living embodiments of truth, they radiate authenticity, inspiring and reminding others of their divine purpose. Their very existence serves as a testament, 
motivating fellow lightworkers, reminding them of the essence of their journey. The eleventh type of lightworker are the unifiers. These are the cosmic weavers, discerning the interconnected tapestry of philosophies, thoughts, and truths. Their gift lies in bridging divides, merging varied streams of wisdom, ensuring that lightworkers across the spectrum unite, amplifying their collective impact. The twelfth type of lightworker are the healers. These are the whispered legends, the compassionate souls who touch not just the body, but the very essence of beings. Healing extends beyond the tangible, they reach out to the emotional, mental, and ethereal layers of existence. Especially the empaths among them, with a reservoir of healing energy, have an uncanny ability to sense pain and mend it. In the vast expanse of our universe, where mysteries unfold and the unknown beckons, lightworkers stand as luminous beacons, guiding humanity through the shadows of existence. Each type, unique in its purpose and profound in its impact, serves as a testament to the boundless spirit of service, love, and transformation. As we journey through this ethereal tapestry, let us always remember the roles these celestial guides play in shaping our world, healing our wounds, and illuminating our path. For in their light, we find hope, in their wisdom, clarity, and in their presence, the undeniable proof of a universe that loves, supports, and endlessly evolves with us. Many lightworkers may find that, as they raise their consciousness, they become more energetically sensitive, picking up other people's feelings, energy, and thoughts. You may find it hard to watch the news or violent films. You may also find that any old relationships that are built on manipulation, control, and fear start to drop away as you are no longer an energetic match to them. For some time now, we have been living in a largely unconscious state. In order for Mother Earth to survive we need a global awakening. This awakening has already begun. You came to this Earth in this powerful time to assist with the transition into higher consciousness. You know who you are, all you need to know is within you honor it, honor your light. I believe that you are one of souls who chose to lead the way. Your location or profession doesn't limit your potential. Whether you're in an ordinary setting, engrossed in a routine job, or immersed in the vastness of everyday reality. In these moments, you have the potential to embody the essence of a light worker. Your genuine passion, unwavering kindness, dedicated service, and innate positivity doesn't go unnoticed, it becomes a beacon for many. So as I always say to my clients, shine, 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 be that beacon of light so others may follow you. So what are your thoughts about being a light worker? Please feel free to comment your thoughts below. I would like to thank you for joining me here today on my channel, Enlightenment in the Darkness. Please like and subscribe to my content, many blessings to the rest of your day.